Here we go again guys, back with the final part of Pro Cycle Mandia Vuelta Espana and today we're doing the really important stage for our chances of winning the World Vuelta Espana. It is the time trial, 40 kilometers long, about 40 at least, and we need to get around 2, I would like 3 minutes but it's pretty impossible to do, but I need to get a 2 minute gap on the stage. Let's get it started and wait for my turn. Okay, so it's my turn on the starting ramp now. Second to last right of course, after Mantis and before Quintana. First gap you can see, just pause it here. Uh, Luke Dalbridge, who's also leading the finish line right now, is in the lead. But time gaps really aren't that big. Neither are they the second gap, but a lot of riders have actually lost a lot of energy between second and third gap because it goes slightly uphill at the end. It doesn't go flat, it's a false flat finish. So that costs a lot of riders some energy. So we have actually have some pretty big gaps here. Right now, Luke Dalbridge, of course, the big favorite for victory. None of the other riders in top 10 will probably a threat, be a threat for the overall victory apart from me. So if I can put out a good time trial here, I should be able to get a good result home. And a plus 5 day. Wow. I'll uh, start it at 60. Yeah, that's, uh, that's really low. So let's see how that goes. I want to save as many at the start. I hope, I'm hoping this is low enough. And it doesn't have to go lower here at the beginning. I mean, it goes uphill right now, so it's, I think this is okay because I really uh, will regain some of the energy back once we get to the downhill section here from uh, the first or second checkpoint, which is pretty much downhill and, and a little bit flat. That I should be able to get gain some energy here. But well, we have Quintana behind me, and mine is of course in front of me. A good way to check out is how far are you uh, to catching the guy in front of you. I'm at 31.4 here. Guys, 30.6, so I'm 800 meters behind Mantis. Meanwhile, Quintana is 1.5 kilometers, so I'm closer to Mantis than Quintana is to me. That's a good sign that I'm either going uh, pretty fast, uh, going at the same speed as Mantis, or that Quintana is going a lot slower than me. Probably both, some kind of mix between them. But it's a good result already. And plus 5 today is, is absolutely amazing. Could not stream for anything better. Makes a uh, my energy lasts a lot longer and let's see you can so already see downhill here my green bar is now longer than my blue bar it's a great sign i'm second so already uh, and i still have a lot of energy left quintana hasn't passed yet 13 so already lost uh, half a minute to me and right now i'm 800 i'm still 800 meters behind my test but i think i have a, have a lot more energy left in store and I will go at this 60 pace, which is not that fast, and I'll probably lose some, a lot of time, probably to Quintana as well, here until the until the second uh, time time check. But then I'll put it up to 65 or even maybe even 70 to just gain a lot of time in the last uh, 10 or so kilometers. I think it is. Let's just check again. Half 30.2, 500 meters to uh, Mantis. I can actually see the wheel back end of his wheel up in the top of the screen, and I have 1.8 kilometers down to uh, Quintana. That's a great sign. I've actually maybe even extended my lead here. Let's take the time gap here before we go up in speed. So down to 10th now, 45 seconds after. So I've lost like 40 seconds or so to uh, Luke Durpich. I'll put it up to 65 here. I could go with 70 as well, but I'm uh, I'll, I'll go with 70 for a bit here. Really accelerate here once we go a bit uphill here now. This is still a flex section. But I should come closer to uh, Mantis now as well. Do overtake Mantis. Can just check here. He's now 2.2 kilometers uh, uh, behind me. 1.12 and I had 45. That's 37 seconds. I'm actually almost caught by Gil as well. Overtaking two riders, that would be pretty amazing to do so. Into the last four and a half kilometers here. I overtake Bagil. Uh, then the next rider is Rafael Maika. Who's a bit better time trial than Bagil, so I probably won't be able to catch him. He's, yeah, he's at the finish line now. 70 right here. Hope My, my biggest hope is that Quintana start at 3.7 kilometers. He's 2.7 behind me now. Doing 36 kilometers now. I'm doing 52. Ah, I have many left again. I didn't know the last part would end downhill. I do win the stage by how much? That's the question. I win it by 53 seconds. That means uh, Quintana right now is 
I'll let's just check the list. Quintana is. I can I see his time? Oh, there he is. One twelfth after already. And that means he's. I have actually probably secured the the red jersey. And if Quintana loses a lot of time here at the last three kilometers, then maybe I even win by like three or four minutes. Or so, which would be great going into the last couple of months this year, which aren't that tough. So I'll, I'll have to race them smartly and keep an eye out, out for Quintana all the time. Come on, slowly. Not speeding it that much up. I want to see his time at now in the bottom here, so I, can, so I can calculate it. I have 1.49 or so down to uh, Quintana here. And he loses, oh, 2.30. That wasn't actually that much. Wow. He, he I think he got like 12th or 13th overall. That's pretty great, great result for Quintana in the time trial. Must be in great shape. 42 seconds ahead. Oh, this is going to be really close for the overall victory. Also for the green jersey, honestly. He's probably going to win that because he's the strongest climber right now. I think I'm a few points behind him. How much I'm actually behind him? I'm like, wow, two seconds after Quintana and the green jersey competition as well. It's this battle for the, for the point jersey and the, the red jersey. Young jersey is mine. Team jersey is probably movie star. We have the third and uh, where's the mountain jersey? That was. I'm pretty safe in the mountain jersey because I took a lot of points on the Mon uh, Andorra stage. And Katana is, of course, taking a lot of mountain finishes by winning the stages. But yeah, let's get to the next stage. Here we have the next stage. It is a hill stage, category 3 climb, and then a category 1 climb at the ending. Almost a little mountain here at the end. This could work out pretty well for me if I uh, save up energy for a long time and then turn this into a, a pretty much a last minute uh, race and then I can go really fast downhill and maybe even increase my gap to Quintana. That's the hope. My hope is to have as big of a gap to Quintana as possible before straight stage 20, where of course the World Tour was decided this year, where Fabio Roth uh, made the race really tough at the beginning and Movistar has that capability. They have a really strong team. They have the strongest team in the race. Elverde, uh, Mainches and uh, Ulisi. And uh, many more other riders who can really make the race tough for me. So I'll, I'll have to pretty much do my best. And hopefully I can increase my lead on stages like this. Okay, here we have the final climb of today's stage. It really isn't that steep, but it's longer than, than you normally would expect on a hill stage. I'm hoping, at, uh, as usual, to get a bit of a head start into the last climb, being the first rider into it, and then setting my own pace. Uh, maybe that'll. Maybe Quintana will get stuck behind some of his own teammates. Actually, it has a pretty surprising uh, development, seeing that Valverde has quit the race. I don't really know why, if he crashed, but suddenly just said that Valverde has quit the race. So he, he isn't helping anymore. He still has Mainz, of course, which is an even better helper. But it's nice to be seeing uh, the movie star team win a bit for the upcoming mountain states as well. So I'll have to time my... Uh, my attack, I want to, of course not attack, but just my pace setting around here. Because once we get to down to the flat parts here, it's going, it's going to get really close. It will st I'm hoping Quintana doesn't attack before me. That would be terrible, okay. So now I have to go forward here. Demar leading me out, plus five Demar on flat rows, that's a pretty nice helper to have. Soup on my wheel here. Now movie star will go as well. It isn't steep as you can see, but it is a goddamn hill. And Quintana's tagging with both Spilak and Bagil on them on his wheels. He's almost up at the breakaway already. I think it's Mintus. And Moreno actually on my wheel. Wow, they're really going fast over this hill here. I'm at 95, I'm using all of my energy and they're still attacking up front. How are they attacking still? Wow, this is amazing. I mean, I have to go down to 90. I can't keep up this 95 pace for that long. This is incredible. How, how, I, how is Kip... I mean, this is a hill state and I'm only 77 hill. How is he going away? I can't... I mean, I have no chance at getting this. I was first in the hill, and this is happening anyway. Wow. And I'm not going to help get any help from Mainz, I don't think so, at least. Why would he help me? 
Also <lacht> bestimmt Bein. So now we have. Well, I get a group up to me, but I have Speed Luck Quintana out in front by a minute or so. So he will take the red jersey back here probably. I don't really care about the, the group out front now. I'm just hoping that somebody in this group sets the pace and I can just sit with them here. Because this is pretty confusing right now for me to see what, what was the best strategy for me right now. I really don't really know. So I'm just letting the AI decide right now of what to do, pretty much. Speed like wins the stage, so at least Quintana doesn't take that then bonus seconds. And we, I lose around 130. So I'm, now I'm behind by 45 seconds instead. The stage was really bad for me. The sign was just terrible. Uh, I don't really know how I could have risked that differently, honestly. I'm sitting thinking about what, where, where did that go wrong, but he was just stronger than me. And uh, I should have gotten an even bigger gap maybe before, but then I would just, just tied myself up before the hill. I went like 90, 95 up that hill. And Spiel, like Quintana, and I think who was the third guy who dropped off at the end? I think it was. Uh, not. Who's the guy from the BMC? Is, it, is that Spielak or am I, am I confusing two guys here? Because Spielak, one of these stand here. It's the guy from BMC, where is he? Did he crash out? Where's Mike as well? Did Mike crash out as well? Oh, Rafael Mike, did Bagil, Bagil, Mike and Valverde, Nimitz. And my, wow, a lot of great riders actually crashed out. All of these three guys were in top 10 right before this race. Okay, so that leaves uh, the chance of Ben Swift making his top 10 comeback third on today's stage, 13th overall. Like, look at his stats 64 trying trials, 17 mountains. How is he in top 13 in the Grand Tour? That's so. so, so stupid. Let's get to the next stage. Here we have the second to last stage of the important stages, of course. Uh, it's it's not a hill, hill stage this time with a little couple six and towards the end shouldn't make that much of a problem since it is so close to the finish line as it is. But let's just get this race started. We are into the final climb now of stage 19. Really isn't that steep once again, and I really don't know how to approach this. I'm going slowly right now, setting my own pace. Uh, I don't think this will end up well, but I can't think of any way I can make this result happen. And a good, a good result happen here. Quintana is simply too strong and I'm simply too weak on the hill status. I'll have to have a miracle happen on my status because, I mean, Quintana's better than me there as well. So if, if anything good is going to happen on these status, I, I don't know how. I honestly don't know how they're going to happen. Put up to 75 now. I just want, don't want Quintana to attack on this climb. I want to, him to wait uh, and attack on the, on the cobble climb instead. Because he can't get a, as big of a time gap there, I think, as he can on this one. If he gets a gap up on the top here. So I'm slowly just increasing the pace. Not by much, but by a little bit each, each time here. See, we are seeing some of the other people here dropping off of his helpers now. Haas as well. I actually get a little gap here, mainly because he got blocked in by Haas from Sky. Uh, yeah, yeah. He should get back again soon, I think. Still one kilometer to the top. I don't really care about Quintana getting back. I'm not here to uh, gain time today. That would be amazing if I could, but it'll also be a little unrealistic. So we have the pills on here. Still, more than Moreno and Olisi in front. Strong uh, movie star team as well, as usual. But I think, I think mine just crashed earlier, so yeah, he's actually not here. The third place, but it's, I mean, he's eight minutes in front of, front of speed luck, so it's not like he, he should be worried about his third place finish right now. He needs to really do poles today. I know, I mean, he has to lose eight minutes on a hill stage where it's like 15 kilometers to go now. 
we have some of the weaker riders now trying to get away, hoping to get away for a stage win on one of the lesser important stages. I think they will probably let. I don't think moves that's in that tough, hard, hard of a pace right now. I just tried it because I saw Quintana was a bit behind there. I tried a little, a little, uh, trying to increase the pace a bit on the flat road here to see what would happen. But it seems like he's able to follow up with me. Who can maybe pluck somebody off here, but I don't think he will. Uh, I think, am I in the lead right now after the race? Yeah, I'm actually, I thought I was still a breakaway group ahead. But now we are going into the cover section here, past the city walls, if you remember the stage. Peter Sagan, of course, seems to be the favorite. Ben Swift, uh, Manu Mosa as well. But uh, Quintana sitting right behind me in a, good, in a good position right now. Should be able to keep up with me. And uh, not going to get uh, any time on him today, it seems. I'm actually beating, beating Quintana today. Yeah, I actually beat Quintana. Sagan, of course, won the state's fourth place finish. Neil in the boulder seconds, but that's a great result, honestly. Didn't expect to get a top 10 or top 5 place today. So, that stage was a lot better for me. Because the finish was not as not as long as it's steep. And I would say it was longer than the last one. Because the last one, even though I went at 90, 85 at the beginning, Quintana was still able to attack and get away. And still attack and, and hold a high pace up the hill. This one was much better for me. I was, I'm so sad about the last days going the way it did. But you can't really, I can't really do anything about it. That's only one mountain stage to go. Let's get it done with. And here is the profiles of that mountain stage. 178 kilometers, four categorized climb, all category one climbs. I have 40, I'm 48 seconds after Quintana. Can I win the tour? Can I win the tour? Can I win the Elsa Spanier here? Let's find out. Okay, so we're now in the last 60 kilometers. We are at the bottom of the second to last climb here. And I'm really confused. How should I race this race? This one seems to be the strongest, uh, the hardest of two climbs. Should I go on aggressive and risk losing a lot of time to Quintana? I mean, I have nothing to lose. Mindset says, how far behind is Mindset right now? Like 15, 22 minutes behind Quintana. That's 21 minutes behind me. I mean, I'm not going to lose 20 minutes, even though I, even if I really go down today, I'm not going to lose that much. So I'm pretty much, I should, I should just go on this one, put it at 70 right now. Let's see what happens. Let's, uh, let's kill his, uh, his helpers. I don't want to see uh, De La Cruz setting over the top. I don't want to see Moreno. I want to see Quintana and Mitis. I can't drop Mitis. I know I can't drop Mitis already. Just be... Stupid even trying that. De La Cruz and Moreno would be nice to to, uh, to leave behind today. Roman Sicar and Machado, of course, would also be nice to have in front of me, but they, they seem to be too weak already. I can already tell that. Demar is still here, but he's falling off now. So now Sicar will try to get up to me, but he can't. He's too weak. We'll try and he will fail, and uh, he will lose a lot of energy trying. So that's, that's a pretty bad part, but there's not much you can do about it. Wow, oh, Quintana almost got blocked there. You can see De La Cruz was tr and Moreno is now using a lot of energy getting back. And they got blocked by Tabora as well here. Now we can take a look at the, the worst angle here. Moreno now setting the pace upwards. I'm excited to see who will now, if they're seven minutes up front, to lead out the pace here. They really should do. They don't. They can't let me away. By I'm already away by a minute. Even though there's another downhill station to go and another climb, I am able to gain a lot of of time on the downhill because it is flat, of course. One sixteen now. It's not a lot of time I'm gaining here, but I don't want to step too far up more the pace. It's Bilbao now. Verona, Sepulveda. It seems like Quintana actually is not setting Mainz up front. That's pretty surprising to me. Will you see a little attack here for the mountain points or will I just 
go past these guys. They are driving the third member now, only two Falas. Montaguri remaining. Falas trying to get with me here. He probably can, he has 76 in months, that's, that's pretty pretty good, honestly. And I'll put it down to 65 here. Let's take a look at profile here, then we can see the gap. This guy is 154 after me, so the Pelton is more than two minutes after me right now. That, I can already tell that, of course. Just by looking at that stat. Two oh seven right now. They are slowly getting catching up to me. I think That's twenty one riders here in the group. My child is still sitting there on the car as well. Yeah, I think they're battling for like I like top twenty right now. My child is in top twenty. Uh, Prince Swift of course in twelfth position, looking great for that top twelve spot overall. I have a two minute gap. Don't think this will be enough. Quintana seems to have a lot of energy left. Meanwhile, I have of course used a lot of energy sitting out here. By myself, 65 and then uh, energy. I'm holding the gap now. Oh, now it's going down. I'm wondering who's sitting up front down in the peloton. If it's probably Astana. If it's not moves down, be a bit mad. It's Felina from the IAM team. Why is he sitting up front of, with his own teammate? Is in the celebrating with. Then we have Moreno. I mean, that's stupid. That's just stupid and annoying to me as well. I have to put it up to 70 a bit here, just to keep the gap up. But they're really going fast now. Quintana as well. I think Quintana's attacking uh, behind... F yeah, Quintana's attacking now. It's Spielak and Willemo as well. Willemo is now the captain of Singer Saxo, of course. Riding for his own chances at the moment. And now I might as well just let me be... Let myself be caught here. Once the card up to protect me here for a bit, which is nice to get some protection. I mean, Kitana isn't get protected. That's, I mean, that's a plus for me. Mine's is Moreno, Bilbao is still sitting here. It annoys me that Moreno with 72 Mountain is still here, while some of my better riders are not here. It's like 29th overall. Then Swift is nowhere to be seen. <gasps> Danger. Swift Watch 2015. Nat, who's up to 8th now, Sepulveda in 7th, and Olivier in 11th right now attacking. Uh, Machado now moving up to the front of the Peloton. But yes. Quintana just in the wheel of him. I'm not even losing that much energy right now. That's really weird. Because I'm not really riding faster than the person is as well. So I'm just sitting in the wheel of my child right now. Now I will set the pace in the last. We're only 10 riders from in the front group. My child is really doing really well. He could jump up to round top 15 now. Six riders now. Super Veda. Rantame, Van Garden, it's me and Quintana right now. I don't really know why the other guys fallen off because I haven't really ridden this that hard. Yeah, Metallo's done now. Quintana is still in the wheel of me. I can't drop him. Uh, don't really know what my strategy should be now. Should it just be to go for the stage win in the sprint? I guess it should. Van Garen attacking now. And there goes Quintana as well. And who's that? Conrad Sepulveda. Van Garen's looking strong here in the last week. He looks strong on the hillside this last day as well. But yeah, no chance for me there. And that probably means that Quintana also takes the stage. And I can't really do much about that, <laughs> can you? can only just be sad. Long downhill, a uh, long flat bit here. And then it goes downhill from here on out, down to uh, the finish line. This is, of course, the reverse of the start of the race. We, we are going up now. So 
he gains like actually how did I gain a capture the guys behind me? Okay, they're coming back again now. Let's just get this world I spend it over with. I don't want to risk this anymore. Uh, so I win the mountain jersey and I win the under 25 jersey. But that's it. Fifth place on the last stage. We have the sprint stage, which I will simulate since I have. It's not like it's the Diode Teller where I was risking crashing out. So I don't want to risk this here. So after a flat short final stage, we had a fourth place to Demar. The final results ends up with a. Uh, let's see who, who not. Okay. Uh, Quintana in first. Uh, me in second. Speedlock ended up in third, overtaking Magnus, who had a really bad last week. At last, after the time trial, he just completely went out of the race. I don't really know why. A lot of Rider of Riders, these guys were like battling for the 10th place, and suddenly they all ended up in top 10. So good for them. But I don't really know what happens to, to Mike and Valverde and who the last guy. Uh, the French guy who was, in, who was riding for BMC, Bagil, of course. Yeah. So a lot of unknown riders now. When Swift ended up in 14th, that just says it's all about the race here. Not the strongest competitors apart from me and uh, Quintana. Quintana just on, a, on another level in this race. I'm hoping for the two next year that I'm not up against him. I feel like I have a chance against Froome and Contador simply because I feel like I can match them in the mountain and maybe outsmart them in some stages. And time trial, I'm, I'm uh, on their level as well. The mountains, I take the mountain jersey, not an achievement for me. Second place again in the points competition behind Quintana. Simply, I could have gone for some of the point sprints, but I decided to go for the overall victory instead and save energy uh, during the stages. So, could have won it, ended up not winning it anyway. And Young Riders, I win as well, uh, almost half an hour ahead of Mantis. So that's pretty much it for this. Let's see if I get an XP, first of all. I get Finn's first Grand Tour. This isn't my first Grand Tour, but it's first time I'm going to finish this one. So yeah, nice XP, only little. I don't know why I can't click away from this, actually. So I'll just, I'll probably have to uh, just close the recording here, because there's no way I can get out of this screen. So let's just end the video here. Uh, I see you guys next time, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching this World Test Let's Play. Next up will probably be the World Championships, where I'll try and defend my time trial, not that likely, and try and improve my place in the road race as well. See ya, bye!